Hello viewers, in titrimetric analysis, we take a known volume of a solution of the substance to be determined and make it react with the solution of a substance with which it reacts stoichiometrically and determine the volume of such solution used in the reaction. The volumes of the two solutions and the concentration of solution used are then used to determine the amount or strength of the given solution. Today, we are going to determine the strength of a given solution of hydrochloric acid by titrating it against a standard solution of sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate and hydrochloric acid react to give sodium chloride, carbon dioxide and water. As the reaction is between an acid and solution of a basic salt, the reaction is called neutralization reaction and the type of titration is called acid base or neutralization titration. Please recall that sodium carbonate is an example of a salt of a strong base and a weak acid. For the titration between hydrochloric acid solution and sodium carbonate solution, the molarities and the volumes of the acid and base are related as 2 m 1 v 1 is equal to m 2 v 2, where m 1 and v 1 respectively are the molarity and volume of sodium carbonate solution and m 2 and v 2 respectively are the molarity and volume of hydrochloric acid solution. In this titration, we will take a known volume of the standard solution of sodium carbonate in a conical flask and to this we will add 2 drops of the methyl orange indicator. Then we will slowly add the given solution of hydrochloric acid taken in the burette. Addition of methyl orange to the solution of sodium carbonate imparts a yellowish color as the solution is alkaline. However, when we add hydrochloric acid to it from the burette, the pH of the solution decreases gradually. When the pH becomes less than 3.3, the color changes to pinkish red indicating the end point. It is always advised to keep a reference to compare the color. We note down the volume of the hydrochloric acid solution used at the end point and use it along with the concentration and volume of sodium carbonate taken for calculating its concentration using the formula 2 m 1 v 1 is equal to m 2 v 2. The materials required for this experiment are for the apparatus we need burette, pipette, conical flask, burette stand, funnel, a white glazed tile, the chemicals required are 0 0.05 molar sodium carbonate solution, the provided solution of hydrochloric acid, methyl orange indicator. Now let us perform the titration. It is advisable to prepare an observation table before starting the titration. The observation table contains the readings of the volumes of sodium carbonate and hydrochloric acid. First of all, we take a clean and dry burette. If the burette is not clean, you should first wash it and rinse it with distilled water. Then rinse it with the hydrochloric acid solution provided. 
For this, fill the burette with a little less than half with the solution of the hydrochloric acid and wet it completely from the inside with the solution of hydrochloric acid by repeatedly rotating and tilting the burette. This solution is then drained off. There should not be any air bubbles inside the burette. Please note, always rinse the burette with the solution which is to be taken in it. After rinsing the burette, we clamp it vertically on a burette stand. Now, we would fill the solution of hydrochloric acid in the burette. For this, we place a clean funnel on the burette. And pour the solution of hydrochloric acid with the help of a beaker we fill it in such a way that the level of the hydrochloric acid solution is a little above the zero mark we then remove the funnel and drain out some of the hydrochloric acid The level of the burette is at the zero mark. Please remember to remove any air bubble which might have developed inside the burette. Remember that for noting the reading, we use the lower meniscus in case of colorless solutions and for colored solutions, we use the upper meniscus. Let us note down the initial reading of the burette. Caution, wipe out if any drop of the solution is hanging from the nozzle of the burette before starting the titration. Now we move on to the measurement of a known volume of standard solution of sodium carbonate. Since we need to make an accurate measurement of the volume, we would use a pipette. Always wash the pipette with water and rinse the solution to be measured before pipetting out the solution. Let's measure 10 ml of sodium carbonate solution and transfer it to a washed conical flask. Now we add two drops of the methyl orange indicator to the conical flask. We place the flask on top of the glaze tile and adjust the burette so that we can start the process of titration. Now we slowly add the hydrochloric acid solution from the burette to the conical flask. Observe carefully, when we add the hydrochloric acid to the solution, the color changes to reddish pink. But as we mix the solution thoroughly, the color changes back to the yellow. Please continue to titrate checking the color of the solution. The final color at the end point is pinkish red. Note the reading on the burette. It is called the final reading. Once we have got the initial and the final burette readings, we compute the volume of hydrochloric acid solution used in the titration by subtracting the initial burette readings from the final ones. This whole process of filling the burette 
noting the initial reading, measuring and transferring the solution of sodium carbonate to the flask, addition of the indicator followed by titration with hydrochloric acid solution is repeated and all the readings are recorded. This process is repeated till we get at least 3 identical readings for the volume of hydrochloric acid solution used in the titration. These identical readings are called concordant readings and it is this reading that is used for calculating the concentration of the unknown solution. In this case, it is the hydrochloric acid solution. Observations and calculations for this experiment. Remember that the molarities and the volumes of sodium carbonate and hydrochloric acid solution are related as 2 m 1 v 1 is equal to m 2 v 2, where m 1 is molarity of sodium carbonate, v 1 is volume of sodium carbonate, m 2 is molarity of hydrochloric acid solution, v 2 is volume of hydrochloric acid solution. We can rearrange the equation to get m 2, the molarity of hydrochloric acid as m 2 is equal to 2 m 1 v 1 divided by v 2. In our case, the values of the molarity of sodium carbonate and the volumes of sodium carbonate solution and hydrochloric acid solution are m 1 that is the molarity of sodium carbonate solution is 0 0.05 molar v 1 that is the volume of sodium carbonate solution is 10 ml, m 2 that is the molarity of the hydrochloric acid solution that is which is going to be calculated, v 2 that is the volume of hydrochloric acid solution obtained after titration that is 8.3 ml. Substituting the values, we can find the molarity of the hydrochloric acid solution to be 0.12 molar. The strength of the hydrochloric acid solution can be obtained by multiplying the molarity with the molar mass of HCl that is hydrochloric acid. The mass is 36.5 grams per mole. The strength of the given solution of hydrochloric acid is therefore found to be 4.38 grams per liter as per the titration just performed. Precautions and sources of error. First, wipe out if any drop of the solution is hanging at the nozzle of the burette before starting the titration. Point 2. Always wash the pipette with water and rinse with the solution to be measured before pipetting out the solution. Point 3. Always rinse the burette with the solution which is to be taken in it. Exercises. Question number 1. Which indicator is used in the titration of sodium carbonate solution against hydrochloric acid solution? And what is the color change at the end point? Question number 2. How can you determine the acidity of sodium carbonate? So, today we have performed the titration which is related to the determination of the strength of the given solution of hydrochloric acid by titrating it against a standard solution of sodium carbonate. Thank you.